What up folks, my name's Alex and this is the Mr. Alex Tech channel. Now, all the transitions you're seeing at the moment were made within Fusion in DaVinci Resolve. They'll work on any resolution, any frame rate, and they're completely scalable, so you can make them as long or as short as you like. Now what's interesting is they contain zero keyframes. There's no keyframes, there's no splines, there's no keyframe stretcher or anything like that. In fact, they're all made entirely using expressions. Because when DaVinci Resolve 16.2 came out and introduced the Fusion Transitions, I wanted to find an efficient and reliable way to create transitions that would work on any frame rate and would be completely scalable. Now to achieve that, what I've done is converted Penner's easing functions into a Lua expression which can be used within DaVinci Resolve. This isn't a step-by-step -step tutorial, it's more of a demonstration just to show you the general idea of how it all works. I will create some more in-depth tutorials further down the line. Also, these were made with transitions in mind, which means they won't work particularly well with titles or text or that sort of thing. I do have plans to convert them for that use, it's not quite ready yet, so it will come a little bit further down the line. Right, with all that out of the way, let me show you how to access them and give you a quick demo of how it all works. And here it is. So to get here, you just need to go to mralextech.com forward slash easing or simply go to mralextech.com and click on the easing link at the top here. Now you'll see that you've got eight of the 10 Penner's easing functions available. The other two aren't that great for transitions and they do need a little bit of work to get them right. So we're just going with these eight for now. And for each of the eight different functions, you've got three options. You've got an ease in, an ease out, and an ease in and out. Now, as you can see, you can hover your mouse over each one and you can actually preview the animation. The ease ins will always start off slow and then speed up. An ease out will start off fast and then slow down. And an ease in and out will start off slow, speed up in the middle, and then slow down again. Now, all of these different easing functions will just simply go from the range of zero through one. So zero to one. But because they're mathematical, they're completely dynamic, they'll work on any frame rate, and you can lengthen or shorten the transition or whatever you're doing with it, and it will always just go from zero to one. So let's just pick on one that we want to use. Let's go with the Ease In and Out Expo. And you'll be greeted with this screen. So you've got the same graph here, so you can preview the animation, but there's also some additional previews on the right hand side. So if I just click on sizes, you can see how the animation is going to look using this that function box here compared to linear, which is just zero to one, but in a completely straight line with no acceleration or deceleration at all. And you can see the ease in and out expo starts off slow, whips quickly in the middle, and then slows down at the other end. So to actually use it in DaVinci Resolve, scroll down and you see this area here, and this is the expression itself. Now it's a simple text box, so you can highlight it and copy, or simply click on this icon here to send it straight to your clipboard. Once you've got it on your clipboard, head into DaVinci Resolve. Now I've made some videos in the past where I'll show you how to actually use these and my thought process behind them. So you can go check that out now if you're unfamiliar with this. But for a quick example, I'm just gonna grab a Fusion composition. We'll make it nice and short, it's just a second long. And then we're gonna head into Fusion. Now I'm just gonna create a real simple shape with a background. So here we got a black rectangle. We're going to head into this rectangle node and we're just going to start off with the width for a quick example. So I can right click, go to my expression, I can delete my 0.5 and just hit paste and enter. Now, as I said, it will start off at zero and it will end on one. So I'll go from zero to one. So if we hit play, you can see it's moving from zero to one, but it's not linear. It's starting off slow it's speeding up in the middle, and then it's slowing down at the end to give us a real nice animation. If we head into the Edit tab, I've changed the color so you can actually see it, and there we go. We've got this real nice animation. Now, because it's all done on the length, it's always going to go from zero to one. We can just drag that out. There's no keyframes, there's no keyframe stretcher. We can just hit play. 
the animation will do the exact same thing but it will dynamically adjust to the length of the fusion composition and it will always just go from 0 to 1 like so. Let's head back into the fusion tab. We'll remove that expression and we'll reset it and this time we'll do the angle. So I'm going to right click on angle, expression and we're going to paste that in there. Now this is working, it's doing exactly what we want it to, but it's going from 0 to 1, which is not great for an angle. What we can actually do is just go right to the end, we can multiply that by 360, and now we've got a 360 degree spin. And again, it's starting off slow, speeding up in the middle, and then slowing down at the end. Now that's a little bit long, so you can't see the animation all that well, so let's just reduce this to about three seconds and we'll hit play and there we go we've got a really nicely animated 360 degree spin now that was obviously just using a real simple shape but what about transitions well I've got my project set up here with a real simple cut and we want to create a spin transition so I'm going to open up my effects library I'm going to come down to my video transitions Going to scroll right down to the fusion transitions and we're just going to work with a cross dissolve for now so i'm going to plunk that on there and if we hit play we've got this simple cross dissolve like so we're going to right click and open in the fusion page and so we've got our two media in nodes here we've got our cross dissolve in the middle and our media out i'm just going to right click on the cross dissolve and ungroup so it's a little bit easier to see. So we've got a simple dissolve which is just going from 0 to 1 and dissolving between the two. And we just want to do a rotation in the middle, give it a 360 degree spin just to see how it looks. So I'm going to grab a transform node, we're going to put that down there like so, and we're going to do the exact same thing as we did with the shape. I'm going to go to the angle, we're going to right click and do an expression. Now let's use a different one, so I'm going to head back to my easing website. This time we'll use the ease in and out back just because it's interesting to look at. We're going to copy the expression, head back into DaVinci Resolve. We're going to go to the angle again, we've got the expression here. We're just going to paste, multiply by 360, and now we've got a 360 degree spin to go along with that transition. Obviously it looks a bit weird at the moment because we've got the canvas, so we can just change the canvas to mirror, head back into edit, and now we've got this 360 degree dissolve transition. And we can lengthen it, and we can shorten it, and it will always work irregardless of the frame rate or the length of the transition. It will always go from 0 to 1, which we've multiplied by 360, so it will always go from 0 to 360 to give us that dynamic spin. So here's one final example for you. I've set up another transition here and I've added a couple of nodes. We've got a merge node and then two transform nodes. And what we want to do is to create a simple whip transition. So I'm gonna select my transform one, which is on my media in one node. And what we want to do, this starts off here, looking at the center at 0.5. We want to just change the X axis, and move it over to the left. So it's going to start at 0.5 and end at minus 0.5. So we're going to minus one. While it's doing that, we want our media in two to start off at 1.5 and then at the same speed, move left, replacing the original clip like so to give us a whip transition. So to do that using our expressions, I'm just going to head to the expression site now. We'll choose a different one just to keep things interesting. We'll grab circ or for this one and we'll copy that. We'll open up our transform one, go to our center, right click expression. Now we've got two points because we've got an X and a Y. We can leave the Y alone, which is the second 0.5. It's just the first 0.5 we're interested in. We want it to start at 0.5 and end up at minus 0.5. So we just need to minus one. So we're gonna do minus and then paste in our expression. And as we can see, it's gonna whip out to the left like so, exactly 
like we want. Then we're going to go to our Transform 2 node, right click, Expression. This one we want to start at 1.5, we want to minus 1 again, so it ends on 0.5, we'll hit Enter. We'll head back to the Edit tab, and now we've got this transition created really quickly. It's just a real simple whip. And as before, if we shorten that, we hit play, it still works in exactly the same way because it's totally dynamic and we've got a real simple whip transition. Add some blur to that and it will look really nice. It's good to go. You can just save that in your transitions as a transition preset by right clicking and create a transition preset and you've created a whip transition in no time at all. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and are looking forward to putting these expressions to good use. If you do use them, please let me know because I'd love to see what you guys are capable of doing with these things. If you enjoyed the video or the expressions, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or feedback, please do pop them down below. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hmm. Better.